are watching JKL brought to you by Telcom Enterprise. Accelerate your business growth with reliable high-speed connectivity solutions from Telcom Enterprise. And welcome back to Jeff Kunange Live at Citizen Television here with Reverend Dr. Timothy Joya, who's been doing his own unscientific rating of our top politicians, at least the ones that he knows or he claims are national, he says are national figures. By the way, I, I just I want to clarify something before we go to tweets in, uh, in our latest poll, huh? if you don't mind, Monica. The, the, what theory did you use to give, let's say, for instance, President Kenyatta 40 and Raila Odinga 39? I took one out of that night because I've never seen him in operation. But he was former Prime Minister. Uh, it was not him at the helm. So what he is being criticized by Ruto every time and who for not having done, he could not have done at that time. He was having ham mm -hmm. that time. Mm. Uh, who we have seen his performance at the helm. Okay. Right now you have so what I'm saying, yeah. I'm, what I'm trying to do is that I, I rated all the other politicians very low. Yes. I, rate, I, I think he is the toppest politician other, other than, than the, the women. women. Yes. Other than the women. Correct. I'm giving him that because uh, to give high expectations for him to outdo who when he becomes president, not by hmm. one. Did you just say when he becomes? President. When he becomes? Like when he becomes. Oh, yeah. Everyone expect We must say that we are aspiring for president. For the president when they become okay because uh, that's why we are going to election because we want we want some sector of kenya wants them to become sure and i'm here embodying all kenyans so when i talk about when later becomes yes i meaning so because i'm carrying a lot of millions of people who want me to become yeah and also but uh, who has already become I see. You, you, you understand? Sure. So, uh, what you are rating Uhuru is actual. Mm. Uh, what you are rating uh, Ryder is not actual. Okay, and Ruto Kalonzo? The same with one minor. Which is 24-23. 24-20. Because Ruto has been seen. Kalonzo mm. has not been seen. Kalonzo has been vice president. Uh, in that sense, you could, you could correct that. <laughs> that... <laughs> Uh, if if Kalonzo has been vice president, yes, then he performed worse than Ruto. Co he performed worse than Ruto. So what do we give him from but 23? Because while Ruto has been president, he hasn't been vice president. Yeah. he has been accused of the things that Kalonzo was accused when he was vice president yeah. about his wife, uh, Vivas, and all the other things. So you're saying Ruto hasn't been accused of anything? Ha uh, remind me. When while in, while in the, his position as as deputy president, as deputy president, you want me to remind you? Yep. How much time do you have? It's up to your time. It's your time, I'm using. <laughs> <laughs> Reverend Doctor, me. just remind me. Reverend Doctor. <laughs> yeah. Okay, oh, both of them. Okay, both of them. Yeah. Uh, both of 24. them. Uh, then give them both of them 24. 24. 24. Okay, Reverend Doctor. The poll we've been asking the question: yes. Has the church in general let Kenyans down? Yep. Your numbers are changing. It was 71, 29, 69% say because yes. Because now the church is being judged on the same scale, as I said, as everybody else. So now you're up to 33, yeah, 31%. Well, we are in a common scale. Ah. Yes. Okay. When we are common scale with, 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 with the popular candidates, yes. Yes. with the insti other institutions, yeah. and all the other things. Okay, Reverend Doctor. Rogers Karani says, the church is you and I. We are all accountable to he who can destroy both body and soul. Okay. Dr. Desmond Sagwe, you say the church has failed to check and keep on toes the leadership of this country. Mm -hmm. Nicholas Abuya, you say we owe the enhanced civil society and or civil and political rights courtesy of the painful sacrifice people like Reverend Joya made. God bless the Rev. Some text messages coming in. Wanjiko from Mombasa, you say the church has let this country down big time. They are partisan and don't give the much needed direction. They do not condemn evil. Agree or disagree? Uh, I said they may condemn, but they are not covered by the media. 
Bishop Mbuni in Nairobi. Good evening. No, no, no. Kenya has turned against God in the name of prosperity and success. That is partially correct. Partially correct. Yes. Viewer, ask Reverend if any of those police officers have ever come to apologize for what they did to him. Oh, uh, you saw the you brought about uh, oh, ab about 20 or more people to Kenya, and we had a party with them to celebrate our our reconciliation. Those police officers. You see, they were playing truth, and you cannot know who was a policeman officer or not because they lost their jobs. <laughs> Even those who beat me at uh, Ikoditi at uh, Kamukoji mm. on uh, on uh, the first Kamukoji demonstration. Mm -hmm on uh, 23rd May 1997 yeah. Yeah. Uh, they didn't keep their jobs uh, when you get that exposed you get deployed other ways by the government mm. yeah you can know who was but uh, you don't you don't get that exposed and you retain your job yeah yeah what exactly did you mean by prosperity gospel by prosperity I, I think those who market the word of God who make who, like simony it's called simony in theology you know simon want to have the holy spirit to uh, in in wholesale so that he can sell it in retail uh -huh. uh, so now they know the bible they are selling it in retail <laughs> <laughs> but tell me something yeah some of the, the these other churches and you say it's not yours pca or AI or whichever one right yeah where you see the flamboyant preachers when you see them in their flashy cars, flashy clothes, if I had, flashy homes. If I had any of this, I would know actually that Satan has given me. <laughs> <laughs> so, w w how do you explain them? Oh, you see, I don't know. Jesus Christ was born in a major. He was tempted by Satan to have those things mm. in the wilderness. Yes. Even to turn his uh, stones into bread. Into bread. He yes. refused. Yes. Those people have turned stones into bread. Uh, they have turned uh, Volkswagen into Pajeros. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I don't think that some of the things I see with these pastors, yes. I would uh, uh, enjoy having them. And yet, we want to be like, some of us want to be like them when we grow up. I think a good name is better than money and you can't convince people today of that people want money we're obsessed with money let me say that uh, these are simply uh, wolves in sheep's clothing as simple as that yeah yes wolves in sheep's clothing but us the sheep can't see the wolves for the wolves they are you know the sheep go on uh, <coughs> being rained on uh, 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 to church and uh, in pickups and in matatus and find those people uh, calling it God's blessings <coughs> uh, 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 having stolen from the sheep eating fat sheep Ezekiel was chapter 3 was so angry about uh, the pastors who behave like that yeah and he condemned them and he said that oh you pastors <coughs> you, you kill the fatted uh, uh, sheep and you eat and you don't care by the, wo the, the, the wooded and what, the broken but what does this mean Reverend Doctor does it mean we have forgotten God these people uh, have exchanged God for mammons and I think so I think I'm, I'm very uh, uh, disgusted and also very very I get angry sometimes mm. indignant, indignant like I wish I had the whip Jesus had <laughs> <laughs> I would I would whip those purple dressed people <laughs> <laughs> out of the church what, are you saying they give you a bad name very bad yeah because yeah. we look at you all we say you're all the same um, what we are saying is the pattern of the market Kenya is no, not yet a nation we are trying to transform Kenya into a nation and in that process of transforming Kenya into the nation other people not only take take the church uh, the, the Kenya as a market 
and the church the just like political parties as the organs of the market mm. so in the church <coughs> is an organ one of one of the organs of the market then you can have these uh, greedy pastors as much as greedy politicians and others uh, uh, thinking that what the devil has given them they have been given by the by god and the rest of us follow them we follow the politicians for that little money we follow these church leaders to want to be like them what does that I, say about us let me tell you they are not church leaders they are money makers as simple as that and i think they should be ashamed of them wearing purple dresses with the tummies to, uh, to rest their crosses while mine is still hanging <laughs> <laughs> wow Reverend Doctor <laughs> Reverend Doctor Marriages in Kenya Let's switch gears just a little bit Yes Marriages in Kenya for the most part Especially young people mm. Are terribly on the rocks Horribly they, they don't last Divorce is left, right and center What is it? First of all uh, the main cause is uh, af uh, fraud masculinity. Men don't uh, don't want to share authority and mm. leadership, and the uh, an income earning with women on equal basis. They feel belittled and inferior because they are trained that, contrary to the Bible, that they are the ones who are dominant. But when you read Genesis properly, Genesis chapter 1 verse 23 mm. uh, verse 26 mm. God made male and female and both of them, he gave them dominion both of them he, I t told them to rule the world yes. and the earth dominion over the world, uh, over the world. he gave men and women dominion <coughs> yeah. and he, God said uh, a man leaves his father and mother and joins his wife and they become one when you want to use some other parts of the Bible selectively to show that the women is inferior and the woman who got A when you got B in school she can agree you are you are not using your brain to understand that she may have also capacity to bring like my wife since I started wa working and it wa she working in 1968 when we got married she has only she has always one and more than I think 10 times my money because I was in the church given is so a peanut yeah. she could work elsewhere yeah. uh, and, 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 and earn more but the issue is not money the money the issue is that we are one body so do you think one family so, I'm saying so you think men are, are emasculated uh, that's the problem they feel emasculated instead of being happy that they are complimented by women mm. who can earn more mm. they feel they are emasculated instead of being empowered and enhance in their dignity they feel that uh, they are denied their dignity okay but i do believe that that's one thing the other thing is that the the family has become also an instrument an organ on the market so the, uh, it measures its success by how much uh, property it has been able to accumulate if a man cannot be able to accumulate like other men he loses status in the society and he is likely to uh, uh, to lose a woman he, whom he is convincing that it is not his himself as human but himself as property you know some people uh, Jeff are what they have not who they are people so many people and especially men are the car they drive and they are the, the goats and the cows they have they are not themselves yeah. if you have been showing your children and your, your, your family that you are what you own rather than yourself then they are likely to, to look down upon you when you own less because the less you have the less you are mm. and that's philosophical yeah. in practical terms we want to show people values human values that we are worth having been created in God's image we are not worth what we have we are what we are not what we own mm. and we are not <coughs> what we do Absolutely. If you get a broken leg, yeah. or if you have an accident today, yeah. and you hit your head, you have or anybody should value for you for who you are, not what you have and what you are able to do. Because we are primarily 
human before what we have and before how much we can learn or how much we how much we can earn. Yeah, but we become so material we become so idol worshipping if you will that is the sin that is the hell we are in because the moment you sin you live in that hell are we sin. in hell right now yeah we are in hell when you are a sinner that's your own hell already uh, because sin affects you and drives you and, uh, out of yourself, alienates you from yourself and from everybody else. Alcohol. And, uh, Tell me, drugs and alcohol in our society. Escapism. For instance, if you are a man in central province and you are told that a man is provider, protector and owner. Provider, protector and owner and you have nothing to own. Mm. Then you are cannot you feel you are not a protector and you are not a provider. Mm -hmm. Then you run into alcohol for escapism. That is according to Freudian psychology. Mm -hmm. You become suicidal. You become dis uh, neurotic. That's a neurotic disorder. You feel you are not worthy to be who you are. No. So <laughs> I think that the question that we, when we measure ourselves our our who we are, our value and our worth with the material things, as you call it materialism, mm -hmm. philosophically, that's materialism. That for me is idolatry, it's a worship of things. Okay. Th for the younger men then, because the alcohol and the drugs, they're starting it at an even earlier stage and age. How do you explain that? For the young men, they, f they were trained that they can only be human and men if they own property and they see that there is no property to own, there is not no land anymore, land has to shrink. That's what, that was the 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 the, 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 the value of property was in having land, so that land gives you other things like accrued from it, uh, crops, mm -hmm. uh, goats, cows, yeah. and other things. What about teenagers? I think they are given hopelessness by their par by their parents, who tell them that they must be breadwinners they must be providers mm. where actually there are no jobs for them to become breadwinners and providers yeah. so that frustration that deficit that gap mm. between the expectation and the reality the deficit between who we should be yeah. and what we are <coughs> that <coughs> deficit is what we feel with alcohol at the same time Reverend Doctor parents these days uh, for the most part let's say both parents work Mm -hmm. So they're so busy in this so-called rat race that they have no time for their children. Children are raised by their maids, by their help, by uh, everyone else except the parents. And what is your question? You have given the answer. <laughs> <laughs> no. You have not given the answer. If the parents are not available, they leave the gadgets to take I saw a child run away because uh, the parents wanted to take uh, the child's mind from using a gadget from a telephone right and the child ran away from whom I think that parent didn't know how to parent they should have known that they have transferred their parent to, to that gadget and they respect that gadget and respect the child to, to raise herself and then go along and win the child back from the, the telephone now they, they need the child they chase the child, the child away if you want, you have no time for a child with you, for whom you didn't have time. Yeah. You have to win the child back to yourself by whatever methods you know how to pursue and to win. Mm. Yes. But that's not what used to happen in our time, Reverend Doctor. You don't win the child back, you beat the living daylights out of the child. You know, if you beat the child that time, you are, wish, you are beating the child that to discipline. Now it's not to discipline, it's but to punish. <laughs> <laughs> and the child knows the difference between discipline when she is being done, uh, being punished, not punished, or whatever you're saying. She was, whatever she is being done yes. is for her own good yes. and for his own good. Today, when you beat a child, it's for your own good as a parent yeah. because you have no time you want to make up for your, lost for your lack of time for the child. And whose fault is that? Materialism, as you said. You are asking the questions in Jeff, which you have the answer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you, have, you have the answer because you too uh, 
you, 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 you are asking what you they call in law leading questions. Leading. Leading <laughs> questions. But I'm, may I tell you? Yes. You and I know very well mm. that parent who, if you don't want to have, uh, you have don't have time for the children. You have time for the money. Yes. Don't have children. Uh, because you are only fulfilling your cultural destiny by having children because you are required by your culture to have them right but in yourself you know very well you are you are doing what culture requires like a slave because without wanting it you're just going through the motions you are going through the motions of culture yeah because you happen to be married you have to, the culture requires to be married right. and you get married but you don't need a husband uh, or you don't need a um, or you don't need a wife yeah then you have gone through that. Then you have children because still your cultural destiny requires you to have children. Mm. But you don't need them. You, you are satisfied to have money. You, 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 <coughs> money is everything for you. But if you want to change your values, to human values, then you need relationships with other people. What am I? And the best mm. and the basic relationship of a nation, yes. a unit of relationship in any nation, is the family. The family is the pivotal the basic and the, the most godly institutions of and, uh, of in, and the most basic unit of a country and yet for the most part it's broken down it's broken down you break in the country you have no country if you have no family no can no country if you want to have a country you have to have a, to have farm good marriages uh, and uh, good families where children and uh, and and the parents are in harmony with one another. Yeah. Yeah. How do you explain a 39-year-old French president with a 64-year-old wife? That's okay. We had a boy or here. The same gap. Why? Yeah. We have so many men, even Porigaman's men. My grandfather, when he was over 80, married in Yavera, who was less than that? <laughs> he has half his fourth wife, and that was okay. Pe like that was okay, <laughs> but when it is the other way for yeah. a woman, we make noise. We make noise because you don't want uh, women to to lead or to advise or to say mm. to have a say. Sure. But anyway, I'm not advocating either. But I'm saying uh, there's a, a, a twist in it, which is anti-women. Yeah, and it's double standards. And a double standard. Reverend Doctor. Closing thoughts. Is there hope at the end of the day? Is there hope? Hope in a revolution <laughs> in Kenya to remove and overthrow uh, the ruling class <laughs> because it is redeemable. But when it hears there might be, but a, a revolution might be redeemed because when it said, in, I, or I declare in October 5, let's have a multi party system and have a new constitution, those who resisted mm. were redeemed by it. Because it was a revolution that redeemed the ruling class. Yeah. The shaggy side. I think that we need a revolution that redeems uh, uh, our politicians uh, and redeems our businessmen and redeems those who cooperated with the shift from the Lancaster constitution and the one party state mm. into the new order, a new dis dispensation. So I think we need another kind of revolution to redeem Kenya. What kind? I, I, it doesn't have to be violent. It can be as, as, to everybody. But it was violent to me, you know. Correct. <laughs> yeah. In your time. It, it was but when you see 4,000 independent candidates running for office, isn't that a revolution of sorts? They are not running for office. They are running for money. The office is only uh, what you call just as was like you for the if you want to become a politician today, yes, uh, make yourself go to court for stealing or for corruption, mm. and the court will become your political party. They will give you a forum, uh, like it has given us. You say Waiguru, whom you didn't want me to give <laughs> good rating. <laughs> it has given uh, uh, all these people, including so called. Mm. The, the court has become the political party for for corrupt people. It's a real. It's the court today, the Kenya court is really a political party. How do you explain the independence, though, other than the money factor? The independence is it? They are, they are, they are running f not for office, but for the market, for our share of the cake of the of the market. For the because we saw how MCAs 
I know some of them who are very poor, they are nothing. They are, they, now, within four years, they are millionaires, they are driving big cars. They have been able to travel to, to, to other countries. Mm -hmm. They never have traveled. No. So, with that kind of um, uh, what you call expectation, mm. that you are going to become uh, rich overnight, make money overnight, yeah. then you have to have those, all these, you see, for. Some independents are genuine. So none of them are doing it for the good? You know, uh, I'm saying some independents who are independent before they, they lost the, the, the primary, yeah. those who are genuine. Yeah. And I think those should be elected. These others ones are fake. Uh, you talk of Trump talking about fake news. In Kenya we have fake politicians. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I gave, uh, I gave Kenneth how, yeah. how much? How did, how did you, get it? you gave him five? I gave him five, five because uh, he should have become independent mm. before he lost the primary. Why? I don't know. I mean, if those people are independent after losing the primary. Uh, I all, all of them, all of them, I call them fake politicians. Uh, they should never see the position they are looking for. Meguna Meguna was always independent. You gave him two. I, because of insulting a woman. Uh -huh. Yes. Reverend Doctor. If you insult a woman, you are insulting, you are insulting, insulting God. my sister, my mother, and God. So, you can be forgiven if you repent. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what this nation needs at the end of the day? Do we need to all repent? Oh yes, we need, we need to. I, I am saying, politicians not be welcome in churches even to greet people. That's the position of my church, the Catholic church, many churches today. Mm. But I say they should not have banned the process to come to church to repent of what they have stolen. <laughs> and, uh, so that they may be forgiven yes. and to confess. Yeah. And I think that's the only platform we should open for the politicians in the church. And is I to think repent? Yeah? Is to repent? To repent. For the money they have stolen? For the money they have stolen. Open doctor. Good to see you as always. Thanks so much for your time. We're going to look at the poll one last time before we go away. The poll, we, the question we've been asking you all evening. Yes. Has the church in general let Kenyans down? You're dropping. Now it's 70% yes let down. 30% no let down. That's very good, that percent. Uh, not, not is bad enough uh, f for the church, within the church, for the church. Yeah. But for Kenya, it is better than the rating of the same rating from 100 to 1 yeah, but that are given other organizations. Sure, you're here with Joho. Joho is 30. Like you. Okay, they are like the church. Joho is like the church. <laughs> <laughs> Reverend Doctor, always a pleasure. Okay, thank Keep you so much. Keep coming back and uh, stay strong. Thank you so much All right. for this invitation. Yes. And uh, good evening viewers and uh, uh, enjoy campaign for your we have a And vote for women. And vote for women. There you go. Reverend Dr. Timothy Njoya, what a pleasure it is to talk to him and a privilege, no doubt. This man made sure is was one of the people at the forefront of all of us getting multi-party democracy. Imagine that. And he paid dearly for it. His scars are still on his eyes. Even 20 years later, the man is still heavily scarred, but says there's hope there's hope for this nation some kind of revolution he calls it maybe a bit of divine intervention as well thanks so much for watching jeff could live as always when it's wednesday it's always about those three letters on the keyboard that follow each other jkl right here on citizen television by the way jkl is powered by telcom enterprise and those of you who didn't get a chance to watch the man U game what's the score guys what's the score 2-0, man, you 2-0. First half, second half? Second half, okay. Europa, there you go, and then you wait for next, all right? But it's not over yet. Thanks so much for watching. Good night. Keep tweeting at Timothy Joya, at Kunanga Jeff, at Susan TV Kenya, hashtag JK Live. Tomorrow morning on Hot 96, for those of you who are up at 6 a.m., we've got Deputy Governor of Nairobi County, Jonathan Weke, as one of our guests. Tune in. Thanks for watching. Good night. Good luck. God bless Kenya. Can you give me just three things?